Hello guys, and welcome back to another PS Vita video. Today we're going to show you how to install custom themes on your PS Vita. Uh, so last time we were here, we got uh, uh, we used the May Dump tool and got a couple games here installed. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to include a link for Vita Shell in the description because it, it, it's got more features available uh, that are pretty handy. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. First things first. Let's see here. I'm just going to show you this right quick. Um, you can have a USB mode for the select button instead of running an FTP server, but we don't want that option because it's not supported. So you got to turn that back to uh, FTP and hit start. And select go back into FTP mode now you will need to download the theme installer I have included a link for it as well in the description I'm going to go ahead and launch this right here Let's move this over here here's the interface here you're going to connect to your Vita using the address on the screen of your Vita uh, yours will differ from mine, most likely. Uh, the one constant I've seen out of everything is that the port is always the same, so... Um, here we go, we're going to connect. And then I got a couple theme folders here. We're going to go ahead and check these out right here. I got Minecraft, Pitboy, and a pirate theme. So these are just a few that I've downloaded. Um, a Google search will lead you to a site that has plenty of these. Since I don't have any themes installed currently, we're going to go ahead and point this to where all my themes are here. Let's see here. Themes. There we are. Uh, we're going to do the, we'll start with the, uh, the pirate theme. Right, open that. That populates all that good stuff. Let's see here. Install custom theme. This states that the process cannot be stopped. Please do not disconnect your Vita FTP server during the whole process. You can follow the progress in the progress log text area inside the program. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And it doesn't take very long for everything to copy over, just a few seconds here. <clears throat> It really depends on how many pictures and files there are in the particular theme pack. So, more files, the longer it takes. Okay, so there's that one. Let's go and load one more here. I'm going to select the Minecraft theme. I'm go ahead and install that custom theme now. And once again, click Yes to continue. Okay. Pretty handy tool. Should be just about done. We're going to do one more. Transfer complete. And okay. One more. We're going to do the pirate theme. I'm sorry, we already did that one. Let me do that again. We're going to do the um, Pip Boy Vita theme. That's what, that's what I went, meant to do. And we're going to install that. Once again, we'll click Yes to continue. I think this one actually has the least number of uh, pic pictures, but it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot there. Yeah. So it's hung up. Oh, there it goes. That was... Huh. I guess that... The, I don't know what that file is, but... <laughs> it took a little while. And from here, as soon as this completes, we're going to go back to the Vita and show you how to load your custom themes. Congratulations. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch back to the Vita here. Alright, we're 
go ahead and cancel that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit this. And we are gonna go up to settings. And if all went as according to plan, all our themes should be located here. There they are. My Pit Boy Vita theme, the Minecraft theme, and the Pirate theme. So let's go ahead and check out. Uh, let's go to check out the Minecraft theme. I'll select that. It's going to load that up. Boom! Done. Here we are. Now we should all be Minecraft. Pretty neat. Real easy to do. It's pretty much a no-brainer. And it even changed the background music. I thought that was a kind of a neat bonus. So I believe that the lock screen has also changed. Let's check that out. There it is, Minecraft. Pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Uh, just a quick tutorial on how to install custom themes. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And share with all your friends. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click subscribe. Keep on coming back for more gaming videos and keep a lookout for more PS Vita, PS3, Wii U, and other game console videos coming in the future. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.